Hey everybody, it's Doug, author of Screen to Screen Selling, and today I wanna to share with you a quick tip on how to uh, create a virtual background that you can use in your Zoom meeting. So real quickly, I'm just gonna go ahead and uh, open up Zoom and click on New Meeting, and this would be kind of a new meeting that I would have with an individual, so I'm just gonna quickly join with a computer audio, and then I'm gonna activate my video camera. So you kind of have two things. You've got my little video here down the bottom, and then you have a video of me outside of Kansas City Chiefs and the 2020 Super Bowl champions, Kansas City Chiefs. And so, there's nobody there, unfortunately, because there's no season being played and or, no sports sports being played uh, at all. So the question is, how do you get this virtual background? Where can you create your own virtual background? And what are the steps to be able to do that? So I'm just going to show you real quickly. If I go down here to the bottom and I click on this little arrow next to the video and then I click choose virtual background, you can see that I, these are the ones that I have loaded right now. And if I change it up, you can see, oh, I'm from the Golden Gate Bridge. Oh, I'm like sitting here inside the grass. And then we're back in Kansas City. Now, I'm actually in uh, Southern California right now. And you can see, actually see the palm trees right outside. Now, normally I'd have better lighting for something like this, but I just for demonstration purposes, we're gonna get down to it. So the question is, you get this virtual background, uh, how do you create your own, right? So if you have a brand that you represent or you wanna be able to change it up and get creative, uh, my recommendation would be go to Canva. So canva.com, it's a free tool uh, editor that you might already be using. The question now becomes is what a size image can you create? And I don't think like if you were to type in here right now, uh, Zoom, it uh, doesn't give you an option. Oh, there it is right there. Um, and so you see the dimensions right there, it's 1280 by 720. So that they actually, actually just added that in here, uh, but I'm gonna go with the blank one, right? Because I wanna make this specific and I wanna be able to differentiate my, um, my background with everybody else. So uh, up here was this photos, you can choose from a variety of different uh, backgrounds. So you know I do a lot with uh, um, a voice marketing for business. And so it has a little Alexa speaker, that's one that I've used frequently. So if I just actually, I'm gonna, gonna delete this and I'm gonna drag it over a different way. There we go. So now it's gonna go into the full screen here. And then I wanna add in some text. I can just kind of, I can click on text here and I can add in um, text. So I can say, um, this is my virtual background. And then I'm gonna adjust the size so I can make it a little bit bigger so more people can see. And then I am going to change the font size to yellow, so or excuse me, white. And then, uh, you know, this font size, I probably wanna change up the font size too a little bit. So uh, let's do something that's legible because some of these fonts are can be a little bit uh, uh, kind of tricky. So see how that got a little bit big, too big for the, for the row there, so I'm gonna, Switch that out and I'm gonna put that here. Now also here's like another little pro tip here. Let me move my little head to the side here. Um, here's another little pro tip. So I have uploads, right? So you can upload uh, pictures or photos into here um, and then I can drag it over here, right? So, there, so there's me, um, let's see if we can make this a little bit bigger. So uh, there's me to be right on top of it. I wanna make that my brand or let's say I wanna take that out and I wanna add this in here. I can move it down. Now notice one thing that it has here where there's no background inside of the image on top of this virtual background. So a real tool, uh, a cool tool you can, if you wanna be able to remove your backgrounds is remove.bg where you just really upload the image and then it removes the background. That way it's a quick way of being able to take out the background. And then you can have your logo in right here. So then I'm gonna, uh, once this is set the way that I want it to, I click download uh, right now, boom, download. So that's going to download it right into my computer. And then I'm going to go back over here to Zoom where I have my virtual background op or option. Choose virtual background. I'm going to click the plus here on the right. And then that's going to find out where all of my files are stored. So I click downloads and this, this is my virtual background, the one that I just had. So boom. Now, you can say, so you can see here that this looks a little bit strange, right? It has this uh, backwards. And if people are looking at this, they're going to say, well, wait a minute, that doesn't look right. Um, <laughs> or, or this is what happened. They'll say, hey, do you, do you know that you have your thing backwards, right? So a quick way around that here, I'll show you. So we go back here to um, 
Let's move this off to the side and we're gonna click this. And then we're gonna take this image. We're gonna open up uh, pickmonkey.com. And then we're going to, uh, I'm just gonna log in and I already have an account with pickmonkey. So it's gonna make it a little bit easier. I could save photos in here. So um, let's set that out. So here we go. So edit my image, upload from a computer, my virtual background, create. So it's gonna load, road this, and then I'm gonna click rotate, right? So I'm gonna rotate this this way, but instead I'm gonna flip it. So boom, flip, download, yes, apply now. I'm gonna save this as a PNG, download, back to here, back to Zoom, plus this is my virtual background, boom. Now you can see where it has my virtual background. It has my little logo in the background or anything else. Like if I can move to the side, whatever, you can see a little smart speaker. So you might be able to get a little creative. You might want to try a couple different backgrounds as far as what's going to best represent your brand. Because when you hop on these Zoom calls, you want to be able to differentiate yourself. You know, you see so many times with people with stacked bookcases, right? Or or it's a huge mess behind them. Now, now if I, 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 we'll go back to this to kind of show you the difference here. When I click on virtual background, I choose none. This is what most people are looking at, just whatever's behind them. So you want to really think about this in advance. And so this is part of the concept of screen to screen selling is differentiating yourself when you hop on these meetings, because what, not only when these meetings happen live, but also when they're recorded and put up on YouTube, you want to be able to stand out. So a virtual background is a great way to do it. And we showed you how to create this on the, this video. Uh, make sure you get the book screen to screen selling because there's a lot of concepts that are in there. And uh, I hope, hope you see on the next one.